Hi, Nixie here, and today we are going to try out the Sumi Drawing Ink from Daiso. Together with this inkwell that you also get from Daiso. You're supposed to get an ink stick with this one so you can grind that thing here and get an ink. But for some reason, it is nowhere to be found around Daiso. So we're just going to use the back side, which is the well side, for my Sumi ink. We're going to see if this ink is waterproof or not, how thick it is, how it looks like diluted, how it performs, and how it dries. Is it chalky or not? Shiny or matte? I don't know yet, but we will see. So the ink right out of the bottle is not very thick. I think it has just the right consistency. And it's definitely very dark on its own. Now, when you dilute it though, I'm surprised to find that it's more grayish than brownish. There's definitely a lot of cheap black ink out there that has a brownish undertone. This one is more gray and I actually like that. It definitely is still a teeny tiny bit brownish though, which is not really a problem for me. When the ink dried, I tried to go over it with water to see if it's waterproof. And nope, it's not. Definitely not ideal to use this ink first before water coloring because this will definitely dull your colors. However, you can always water color first before inking, but it's up to you. Oh, and the ink actually dried a little bit shiny. Also, I think non-waterproof ink is not bad at all because you can smudge the line art with just water and ultimately use it to shade in your drawing. I think that is pretty awesome for a black and white piece. So because I have these old and clogged up water brushes, I decided to use them as brush pens and filled them with my Sumi ink. But of course, I unclogged them first. This is great because I cannot buy refill cartridges for my Pento Bucket brush pen especially right now and i do have extra water brushes lying around And here we are. I'm just going to demonstrate how I'm going to use this for inking my sketches. I did this sketch a few days ago and I'm going to ink this one. But if you're not planning to do this for your ink, you can definitely use it directly from the bottle and then use something that looks like this. Or This is an actual like ink block is it called ink block no inkwell i think japanese inkwell where you grind the ink stick you know over here but you can use this as a well this side and you can totally use this and just dip your brushes like this one brush like this you know you go dip and then you know what i'm talking about but I'm going to use this instead and a white palette and I wanted a white palette because I can see how much I diluted the ink better on this one because the ink well is black so yeah let's get started oh by the way this is an inktober piece I did last year and it actually did good on tiktok I think kids are so creeped out about this ghost at the back just wanted to say that since we're like reviewing an ink you know and something that is totally relatable to ink is actually inktober
it's done. This would look better if I was using a good type of paper, but yeah, that's not the case. And also I messed up on the eyes. I don't know if you can see it, but I totally messed that up. So that's my bad. But my overall first impression for this Sumi ink, it's definitely better than the other cheap black ink out there. Like this one, um, yeah, this one, if it dries, it just turns super chalky and it just stains absolutely everywhere and that's what's annoying about it. And it's around 200 pesos. It's 20, I mean 60 ml and it's around 200 pesos in National Bookstore. But the Sumi ink from Daiso, how many ml is this? It's 180 ml and it's only 88 pesos. So like, go for this one if you're looking for a cheap ink. So yeah, I hope you liked my first impression for Daiso Sumi drawing ink. Tell me what you thought about it and if you're gonna try it out for yourself. Really think this is good for beginners just like myself who's not really good with doing line art just can you just see that yeah but i kind of like the garagey look of it but also please suggest me a good type of ink that i can try out in the future because i am definitely looking for an ink that is at least waterproof so i can use them together with my watercolor and that's it thank you for watching my video stay safe and I will see you on my next one. Bye!